Thank you. Um, I'll keep this short and sweet. I know you guys want to hear the mayor's candidates, uh, candidates for mayor. But uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out again, just like everybody else, uh, the FOP and uh, their organization for what they put on. You know, if you elect Steve Cooley in November, you're going to get a leader. You're going to get somebody who's going to work with the city, they're going to work with the mayor, you know, they're going to work with the city council. They're going to get things done. End of story. Uh, I've led a lot of football teams, good football teams, bad football teams. I've taught, you know, and I always teach my government kids that are seniors in high school. I've had some, Matt Owen was one of my former students. You know, I think it's important to exercise, all right, your right to vote. That is imperative. I don't care if you're a Democrat, you're a Republican, black, white, it doesn't matter. You have no right to complain about what's going on in the city or the roundabouts unless you elected those local officials. And if you got a problem, then you need to write to the governor, you need to write to Ron Grooms, you need to call Mike Moore. You need to voice your concerns properly, but you need to vote. I challenge all of my students all the time to vote. They don't have to vote for me, they vote for the person that they feel represents them the best. All right? And if you feel Steve Cooley represents you the best for the community, then I think you should vote for Steve Cooley for City Council in November. And uh, thank you for coming. Have a good night. Thank you.